Gateway Community College Library is a state-of-the-art facility home to thousands of books, hundreds of scholarly journals, magazines, audio-visual materials, equipment, and a staff of friendly and helpful librarians. Let's start this tour at the entrance at the south end of the south building on the second floor. To your right, as you enter the library, is the multi-purpose room, a space for meetings, parties, studying, whatever. To your left, it's the service desk. Whenever the library is open, there is a reference librarian staffing the desk to respond to your research needs. Just walk up and ask a question or contact the library via phone, text message, email, or online chat. For more in-depth help, schedule an appointment to meet with a librarian for private, one-on-one -on -one research assistance. The service desk is also the place to go for circulation. Check out items using the self-service kiosk and return them by simply sliding them into the book drop. Behind the desk, you'll see items held on reserve for courses, including many textbooks, as well as equipment such as laptops, headphones, and calculators. All of these are available for use, though many of them must stay inside the library while on loan. Further in on your right is the instruction room, where librarians teach classes on the intricacies of information literacy. When class is not in session, the room doubles as an open computer lab that is home to one of the library's four printers. Two more of the printers live in the learning commons, the area straight ahead over by the big windows, where students can gather to study, discuss, collaborate, and make use of the seat pods to share their laptop screens. There's also another reference desk here on the other side of the library. Small groups can also reserve one of the group study rooms that line the walls opposite the big windows. Make a reservation online up to two weeks in advance. Library users with special needs can request access to the assistive technology room, home to special equipment for those who need it. There's also a copy machine that prints copies for 10 cents a page and a scanner that can create a digital copy of any document for free. Roughly half of the stacks are here on the top floor. Some of the library's special collections are here. African American history, English as a second language, small business, social issues, DVDs, videotapes, and audiobooks. Not to mention the main stacks comprising Library of Congress classifications A through L. The main stacks continue down the big central staircase where you'll find M through Z. There are more special collections downstairs. New fiction, new biographies, peace studies, Muslim journeys, and the Kids Cove, beloved by children and early childhood education students alike. But we can't just talk about books. The lower level is also home to periodicals like magazines, newspapers, and scholarly journals. That's it for the resources here in the library. But it'd be a shame not to mention the literal millions of other resources available online via research databases ebooks, journal articles, stream videos, all available anywhere with an internet connection. Back here down on the library's first floor, there's ample room to settle in. This floor is designated the quiet study area, set aside for those who choose to work alone with minimal distraction. This is the part of the library where you might get shushed, or more likely, politely asked to bring your conversation upstairs where conversations are more welcome. Both floors have amenities including single-service gender-neutral bathrooms with changing tables, as well as study carols, computers, and comfy chairs to sink into with a good book. The library has recently softened its rules to allow food and drink within reason. Just clean up after yourself. Thanks for touring the library. Come visit us when you can and feel free to contact us anytime. Bye.